guys so for Epson this week I wanted to do something with the FM options because we've talked about granular now and that's all pretty cool but we also have FM and if we go to our patch page um, I try to make sort of a growl sound kind of Reese drum and bass sort of um, this is what it sounds like <laughs> And I'm I'm not gonna lie to you, it was, it, this took me quite a while to to uh, make, and I'm not even completely happy with it. But I know that with some extra filters and some external processing and reverbs and equalizers, etc., I can get a little bit better. But I just wanted to show you the start of the sound. So, um, well, first we got this just this normal. Um, drop sign bass so I'm not using FM here just a single oscillator and let's see I've got an envelope on the pitch here so that's dropping and everything is synced all the envelopes and I've put it in ratios because I thought since we're going to do FM might as well use ratios for the tuning so um, it starts out uh, with a ratio of 1 so that is the same uh, note as, uh, as the input is so if I would play a C3 with a ratio of 1 it would sound like a C3 and then it drops down to um, 0.25 so that's two octaves and then it goes up uh, one octave again to a ratio of 0.5 and at the end it's going down again but it's all logical logical uh, transpositions um, in octaves so not in semitones so it's dropping two octaves and then going up one again then for the amp uh, that's pretty normal and this yeah, I think is not used nope okay so that's that one and then we got this one and this is the FM oscillator and I also put this one to a ratio over here and if we disable the effects um, and this was a lot of uh, messing around First, I um, set the FM index, so the maximum amount of uh, the FM that the that the that so this is the modulator, and this is the carrier. So this is the maximum amount that the modulator modulates the carrier, and I, I set an envelope to that, and that is. Oh, I was looking at the wrong envelope just now. Oh, it's kind of the same. So. Um, that is this one so it's just very shortly um, actually uh, using the FM only where I modulated it and then I messed with the phasing a lot to get it right and you can hear it So I set that to 0.3 and I have given it two voices and the rest is default and you can use a random, I tried that too but it's, you get some sick sounds sometimes but then it's not very consistent so that was a problem. Because it changes every time um, you hit the note again even if it's the same note so um, the modulator wave is set to a uh, SAR filter 2 and it's just a simple wave as Epson calls it and then the main is also a SAR and it's a real SAR although it's still digital and I mess with the phasing here as well and the phasing that's what that's what's giving it this sort of detuned sound in combination with the FM and to emphasize that I used an L-pass filter 
and as you might know an outpass filter messes with the fa with the phase as well <laughs> So that's a great one to mess with for these kinds of sounds. Ooh, nasty. Alright, I've given it enough feedback and then just a regular wave shaper. And then another L pass on the master if we disable that. Doesn't do that much, but adds a little bit. So um, let's see. I think that's already it. Um, and this is just FM is not like uh, additive synthesis or subtractive synthesis where you can uh, normally when I uh, when I design sounds I'll just uh, be very rough and I'll drag this up uh, to the max and I'll pull the resonance up to the max. But with FM you have to be a little bit more careful and um, small changes uh, do a lot of stuff so uh, that's a good thing to know um, and we can try we can try to uh, let you share what I mean if we go to the envelope for this one a lot of sounds um, hiding in here I mean this difference is quite quite huge so you have to be you have to be a bit careful with it and it's just a lot of fiddling around and trying stuff and trying new stuff and saving and trying some something else and eventually you get a, you get a nice sound and then you can also try another maybe just a normal filter here to make it a bit more uh, controllable so let's modulate that one let's put it to sync set it to loop set it to four something like that you can get some good sounds with this I think let's put this to 16th and we can make the rhythm more interesting by not using only eight notes but also one that is a bit delayed and then another one here Maybe it's a little bit of feedback. Try the LPS maybe again. Maybe the 
same envelope here. We can just create a new envelope and then we go to this envelope and we say edit copy envelope and then paste. Alright, so that um, is the sound for this one. Oh, and I used a little bit of the pipe effect. Although it's not it's not very it's not very nice but I used it to get a, li a little bit of extra extra grit and power. A little bit more distortion, so this is with that. And then with so it's not that exciting, but what it is, I um, bent the, um, I bent them very wide, so the sounds get very stereo. And this one could be at zero, and maybe this one at the middle. And now you can filter the stuff that you don't want. So I just wanted some more highs. Just send the oscillator A through there and not the not the sign base. Can we modulate this? Uh, we cannot. Too bad, but we can modulate this. drifting on um, you get the deal and you, you you're gonna need some external uh, processing if you want to make this sound but you can also tweak a little bit more in here and uh, you'll get uh, a little bit better and you're good to go so thank you <laughs>